Hey everybody, Stratix here. We're back with part two of Aedor Genesis. You can find this and everything else on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Stratix. And uh, if you want, follow me on Twitter. I'm uh, Stratix Gaming on Twitter. So where we last left off was building, I think I needed to build a library. And I'm starting to wonder if this is even the same game. I'm pretty sure it is because it was called Shepherd Span where I was. Um, okay, we clicked on our player. Treasury and shops, hire troops. Boy, I don't know if the uh, tutorials are going to reappear now since I had saved and exited it in the middle. Um... No, that's not it. Okay, <laughs> I need to figure out how to, uh, how to do this. Did I have to click on my, my, my guy? And then find... Let's see, I already know how to do that. I already did that. Hmm. Let's see a second here. Okay. It's not that. Treasury and shops just takes me right to, like, a shop. And there's my armor I'd bought. I'd purchased... Okay, you are in the library. This is it. You are in the library now. I thought I had to buy the library. That's what I was looking for. On the bottom left, you see the spells your hero has already learned. On the right, the spells available. Right click on a spell to read its description. Click to continue. To learn a spell, left click on it. Then move it to one of the free slots. So, looks like I have three I can choose from. Woo, I can raise skeletons, magic arrow, cure wounds. That, that'd probably be good, but I like the idea of raising skeletons. The school of necromancy creates a skeleton from the reins of a fallen. From the remains of a fallen. The skeleton's attributes depend on the caster summoning and necromancy skills. I, that sounds really. I don't know, it sounds kind of fun and interesting. Cure wounds would probably be pretty helpful too. What was this? My experience. My health, okay. Let's do this. Great, you've learned your first spell. Doesn't require any resources, you can experiment freely, adjusting your set of spells to your liking. To get rid of a spell you don't need, left click on the spell to select it. Okay. Fill up all the empty slots. Oh, I can just take them all. Keep in mind here, I can only use each of the spells he has memorized once per battle. It's prudent to learn several instances of, this, of the most useful enchantments. After you've memorized your, your magic, leave the library by clicking on the exit. Okay. So I can put all of these in here. Well, the time has come for a real test. There's an ancient forsaken crypt nearby with some dead blokes that refuse to stay put. Your task is to lay them to rest. Despite their objections, zombies and skeletons are dangerous opponents, so take your time to prepare well for the battle. All right, teacher. Make sure your hero is ready for before starting off on this task. You may need to hire more units. Click on the hero's portrait inside panel to browse. Yeah, that's true. I think didn't one of them die? So let's go to hire troops. Oh, I can hire two more. I'm gonna make them both um, melee. So 
so we got them hired. I guess, I guess we're ready. Initiative, oh boy, I don't have any initiative. Command one, I have 11 for siege, mobility one, health five, okay, let's go ahead. End turn, enter building, ancient crypt. The hero strikes has approached. It looks like a burial vault. And one is sure to find something valuable among the belongings of the deceased and to encounter those guarding the peace of the dead as well. Number of enemies, four. There are skeletons and zombies. I'm guessing two of each. Attack. So here's our initiative. Again, we can only go in the, the first two. Can he go down here? All right, let's go. During combat, it's important to remember your unit's attributes, such as attack, defense, and resistance. Details on the selected units are displayed in the side panel. Right-click on any unit to view more info. Brief info on all units can be viewed by pressing and holding the Alt key. In this combat, you're fighting skeletons and zombies. Skeletons have few hit points, but their ranged defense is high, so it's best to kill them with magic or melee. On the other hand, the slow but fairly powerful zombies are a perfect target for the for your missile units. All right. To cast a spell, click on the cast spell button in the side panel. Each spell your hero has memorized can only be used once per combat once per combat what does that mean for the entire encounter all right hold alt okay i see we got a quick quick look i can't hit them yet so zombies from a distance Skeletons up close. I moved. Can I still? I guess that's blocked out. Effects. Are those my magics right there? I should have looked. Oh, I have to switch to them. Hmm... I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, I did- I did this wrong. I'm gonna get attacked by the zomboid and I, I didn't want I didn't want that. That's like a hill, isn't it? Do I get a bonus? I don't think I do. We'll take a look at this next turn. Skelly moves. Wow, he they can. Well, my movement stinks. All the enemies have decent enough movement. Well, that was kind of slow. Let's move him up there. Let's. No, I should be able to attack this one. On God! Whoa, I only did one. And he's got. Oh, he only has four left. Okay. Now. Now I have cast a spell at my disposal. Can I do a. There's. 
Magic arrow. Can I go reach all the way down there? Oh, yes. Wait. 12. Wait a second. What did I do? 12. What did... Wait. Magic arrow doesn't do what I thought it did. Doesn't do damage, does it? What did it do? A status effect? Oh no, I did, right here. That's the full hit points. Down here is the current. So I did... Okay, 6 out of 12. Okay. Oh, nice. He can't hit them yet? Hmm... I kind of want to wait, even though I'm not being able to use not being able. I'm, even though I can't hit. Wow, eight, my guy. Now let's see if I can do another... Ah, no, it is once per entire encounter. So, on guard. Alright! Take that! Blah. Now. Alright. Alright! You pick it at him as he approaches. Bring him down here. Oh, I shouldn't have brought him down there. <laughs> that was a mistake. Right, da -da 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 -da. six zero experience gain in combat allows unit to achieve a new level. Oh, so no, the unit gains a level and it increases unit's courage. Let's increase his hit points. After a thorough search, your party has found yes, nice. Have you laid the dead to rest? Great, now you're ready for a real trial. I thought this was the real deal now. Time to head to my castle. Your castle. I mean, the castle is across the sea. We'll need a ship to get there. To the north, in the province of Archer's Thicket. There's a good shipyard. Alas, the northern forests are plagued by brigands. I don't think they'll pose a serious problem for you. However, get ready and let's go, apprentice. Make sure you thoroughly prepare for the battle ahead. Hire more units into your party if necessary. Remember to visit the merchant shop. Some of your items need repair. Oh, a little grammar. Grammar issue. Re they need repaired. Wow, I have to repair weapons. Let's do that. Weapons and armor deteriorate. Each item has a durability reserve that gradually decreases. The item breaks and no longer affects hero's attributes. It's best not to let that happen and repair items before they break. Click this scroll to continue. To repair all the items, including the ones in his backpack, click the Repair All button. If you only want to fix some, enter the Repair Mode by clicking the Repair button. To fix items by left-clicking, you can leave the Repair Mode by clicking the same button again. You can discard items you don't need by taking them and clicking them, clicking on the delete button. You can also sell them back to the store. Note that the buying price, oh yes, buying will be low. Buying them back, I won't get as much, yes. You'll only be able to sell them back at a fraction. So 
So where was the repair? Right here. Repair all. Okay. How about repair all? Wow. That did that repair all? Cause it sure did drain my 40-40? Oh it repaired these too. Did it, did I pay for them? Even if they were fully repaired? I hope not. Alright, exit. When you're ready, head to the forest in the north. I need to hire... Rank 1. Rank 1, rank 1. I thought he leveled up. Yet, yeah, okay, it does say 1 down at the bottom. It's hard to see. Alright, I want another one of these guys. Click on the hero and right click up here, which is... This is Archer's Ticket. Yeah, okay. And then end turn, right? The hero... Enter the province of Archer's Thicket. Suddenly, your party's way is blocked by a gang of brigands. Uh-oh. Dang. We're up here. One, two, three, four. What are you? Why are you way up there, dude? You're, like, right there. Hmm. How we do this? There. Like that. More of a head on. Alright, let's go. Whoa, no, no, no. I need to get closer now to take out that archer. It's essential to make good use of terrain features. Aha! When in, when in forests, the unit's range defense is increased. On hills, the range defense and counterattacks are increased. In swamp, their defense and counterattacks are lowered. So terrain does matter. So that should increase. But I can't hit now because I moved. Is that the deal? Is that the dilly bob? Yeah, I should move him down here and he could have came up this way. I guess that's it with that turn. Man, no, don't hurt my slingers. I'm going in for the attack. Oh yeah, take that. I'm, I'm scared of that guy. So I'm gonna take him, I wanna hit him. Yeah, we could one to him. Right, because he's in a forest? And, or I'm in a forest? We'll stay there. Let them... Oh, shoot. I forgot. No, I'm not paying attention. I need to get close enough to hit him or he's just going to lay waste to me. Shoot. I, was, I forgot about that. Wow, eight to one. Now look at don't kill. Oh no! I need my slinger. Hmm. Okay. 
Man, I still can't hit him. Oh, I can hit him. Oh, man. This is rough. Oh, look at I can see his, uh... Bones. Oh, wait. I can use Ray's shoot. I wonder how close I have to. I wonder what the range is on it. I think what I want to do is... Dun, da, da, da. Yes! Now I have a skeleton. To oh, and he can attack right away. <laughs> Take that. Now I can hit you. A certain number of stamina which are spent on attacking, using specially and crossing hills and bogs. When the unit is low, it loses speed and its attacks get weaker. Once it's stamina falls, wow, there's a stamina gauge? Speed, fatigue, experience. Wow, okay. You can order them to rest, it, but it costs a turn. Next turn. Not good. I can only like move one square at a time. Stinks. How far can he move? You've got nine. Wow. Oh, it's almost like I want... <laughs> I guess in some circumstances, I probably would prefer a guy to die. Oh, I do have a magic arrow, don't I? Wow. Dude, that guy's super tough. That's awesome. Oh man, he was super weak. I should have used that earlier. Man, I lost all my guys. Gained enough experience to achieve a new level. I am now a warrior level 2. So what can I do? Athletics increases hero's initiative and movement speed. Improves hero's attack accuracy and parry rate. Greater damage on the enemy. Uh, I I need. Oh, this is tough because I I can only move one at a time. That kind of stinks. Uh, I'll go ahead and raise attack though. What that improves here is attack and parry. Hmm, that parry's nice to have. Do this. Let me do that. All right. So you've become a land owner. Congratulations, now this land is yours. Your property, whatever. It will yield you a steady income, but even greater conquests and glorious victories are waiting for you overseas. Get on the ship, and let's go. Well, it's not much of an overseas, but I get it. You can only travel across the sea from a province that has a shipyard. Later on, you'll be able to build the shipyards yourself, but you have to learn the secret of construction. To send your hero on his way, select him and right click on the province with a castle on the right. But if I have any money, which I don't really have any, I want to hire guys, don't I? I can't. I don't have any money. Shoot. Okay, let's go. Home at last! Get comfortable. From now on, this castle is your stronghold, the base of all your endeavors. Here you'll be able to train units, forge weapons, study magic, but first you have to construct the necessary buildings. Ah, this is where building construction comes in. 
here are 500 gold and 100 jumps. If your housewarming allowance, it's, well, let's see, and 100 jumps. Your housewarming allowance. I'm a stickler sometimes. From now on, I won't give you any more gold. Well, jeez, thanks a lot. Conquer new lands, explore nicks and crannies, and, and you'll earn a fortune by yourself. My first quest for you is building up this castle. While I was away, everything sunk into decay. We need to work hard to restore the former strength to these walls. A construction team is at your service. It's up to you to build, but make sure to construct a recruiting station, a forge, and a pottery. We'll discuss our further plans then. So, I need... Recruiting Station, Forge, and Pottery. Recruiting Station, Forge, and... Oh, it might be telling me. Open the castle window by clicking the Stronghold button. Ooh, way down at the bottom. You're now in the construction window. To the right, you can see the outside appearance of your castle and the buildings already constructed. To the left is the list. Building you can't construct yet are grayed out. They require OK. Left click on it and click build. Recruiting station. Left click on it and click build or construct building. Now I need a forge, granary tavern, altar, forge. Can't build this turn. Produces simplest iron armor and weapons. It can't be built this turn, huh? And what else was it? a pottery? Workshop, forge, pottery. Income plus two allows building granary. What? is required. Income plus two. Alright, so we exit. And I guess end turn. Left click on a promise to view the details of the surrounding provinces. You can start your conquest right away or wait several turns, building everything you need in the castle first. The choice is yours. To, to attack, select a hero, right click on it, his destination to send him on his way. I want to skip turns and wait and build up. Besides conquering your lands, your hero can explore ancient ruins, abandoned temples, other secret locations, guard treasures. Highlight the province by left clicking on then select the location window to learn what locations are in your province. Many secret locations can be discovered on the unexplored territory within your province. You can give your hero an order to explore a province to search for those. You can continue to explore until it is fully explored. Okay. Well, we ended a turn, so let's go back to Stronghold forge and build this sucker and then wait a turn yes now build the pottery but I can't build the pottery right now why not Mm-hmm. Well, let's click on... <clears throat> so here's some locations. Well, let me cipher that out a little bit, and we'll go ahead and end this 
uh, live, live stream, I was gonna say. We'll go ahead and end this video here. Remember, you can find all my videos and everything I do around the internet. I do a lot of stuff. I work on Zero Friction, uh, which is retro and indie gaming, zero-friction.net. Lots of Let's Plays and opinion editorials. I also do that with uh, Allaway. You can find Allaway at Allaway on Twitter. And you could, uh, I think it's, uh, I forget that, I forget her, I'll have to get her URL, but she has the Gaming Goddess website, her blog. And, uh, what else? I do, I have my Patreon. That's a big one. I basically, I do a lot of stuff, and I try to concentrate it all on into my Patreon to make Patreon posts to let you know. That way I, con I consolidate it all so you're not having to go over here to Zero Friction, over here to my, you know, to my YouTube, uh, over here to my Twitch, I, you know, which I occasionally do as well, uh, which is Stratix Gaming as well. So thanks for watching. We'll continue on this. I'll cipher this out exactly what I need to need to get done, and we'll forge ahead into uh, episode three. So thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video.